Make sure that all of your patterns are cut. Your side, center, and bottom front. Center, side, and bottom back, as well as your collar. The sleeve pattern, as well as your skirt and pocket. Transfer the lines from the paper marking to the fabric, then shear along those lines. Remember to adjust the setting on your sewing machine. Locate the notch on the skirt panel and sew the pocket to the skirt with a 1cm seam allowance. Along the top of the back skirt, sew two rows of gathering stitch. Gently pull the gathering stitches so that the width of the back skirt matches the top. Align the center back and then sew the panels together with a 1cm seam allowance. Overlock Along the center back, sew the zipper with a 1.5cm seam allowance. Continue sewing up the bottom of the skirt with a 1.5cm seam allowance. Sew the front skirt panels together at the center front with a 1.5cm seam allowance. On the sleeve panel at the center back, fold it inwards by 1cm and iron well. Then sew it down with a 0.8cm seam allowance. For the hem of the sleeve, Double fold 0.5 cm seam allowance, so that would be a total of 1 cm. Iron well and sew down with a 0.3 cm seam allowance. Sew the front and back side panels together at the shoulder with a 1 cm seam allowance. Next, we will sew the side panels to the sleeve. With both panels right side facing up, baste both panels together with a 0.5cm seam allowance. Mark out the sewing lines on the top panel. Ensure that the shoulder and the notch matches up. and the bottom of the sleeve panel stops exactly at the sewing line. Sew the center panels together with a 1cm seam allowance at the shoulder. With the right sides together, we're going to sew the center panel to the sleeve making sure that the sewing line matches up. We'll be sewing with a 1cm seam allowance. Next, we are going to sew the back top and the back skirt together at the waist with a 1cm seam allowance. Remember to flip open the zip and align the panels. Moving on to the lining panels, we're going to sew the front panels together and the back panels together with a 1cm seam allowance. Sew the lining together at the shoulder with a 1cm seam allowance. We're going to sew the lining to the main fabric along the center back. Align the fabrics up and sew along the center back with a 1.5 cm seam allowance. Spread open the lining panel and sew an understitch on the lining. Make sure that you're catching onto the seam allowances below. Let's sew the lining to the main along the center front with a 1.5 cm seam allowance. Spread open the lining 
and understitch on the lining panel, making sure that you catch onto the seam allowances below. Gently roll up the sleeve to expose the armhole of the main panel. We're going to sew the armhole of the lining and the armhole of the main together with a 1cm seam allowance. Once you're done, take a scissors and snip into the seam allowances to reduce the tension. Turn it inside out and iron well. Let's finish up the front. There should be a gap of about 1cm from the sleeve. Mark out the sewing line on the bottom panel. Starting with one side, we're going to sew them together with a 1cm seam allowance, making sure that the panel stops exactly in the centre when you are done. Sew one side of the bottom panel and then once you are done with one side, repeat on the other side. Use the sewing line as a guide. Next, take the bottom panel with the interfacing. On the wrong side of the top, we're going to sew along the same two lines as we did before, one side at a time. Sew with a 1cm seam allowance. Turn it inside out to make sure that everything has been sewn well. If you'd like to make any corrections, now would be the time to do so. If it looks sharp and centred, take a pair of scissors and trim into the seam allowances to reduce the bulk. Then turn it back out and iron well. Sew two rows of gathering stitches on the front skirt. Gently pull onto the stitches to reduce the width of the skirt to match the top. Sew the top to the skirt with a 1cm seam allowance overlock. Next, we're going to sew the front and back panels together at the side with a 1cm seam allowance. At the hem or the bottom of the skirt, we're going to fold up 1cm, iron and sew it down with a 0.8cm seam allowance. Now moving on to the collar, we're going to sew the panels together along the top with a 1cm seam allowance. At the bottom, flip up by 1cm and sew it down this way. When you're done, it should look something like this. Grab a pair of scissors and snip into the seam allowances to reduce the tension and the bulk. Flip open the collar and on the non-interfaced side, we're going to understitch, making sure that you catch onto the seam allowances below. After turning it inside out and ironing, it should look something like this. Let's sew the collar to the neckline. To match up the centre back to the collar, first make a mark of where the halfway point of the collar is. 
make sure that meets up with the center back. We'll only be sewing one layer of the collar, so just push away the other layer. Position them and pin into place. Taking the start of the collar, we would like to match it to the centre front. Make sure the collar is not twisted, align it up to the centre front and pin it into place. Also, match up the notch that is along the collar to the shoulder point. With the centre fronts, shoulders and centre backs matching up, sew them together with a 1cm seam allowance. Grab a pair of scissors and snip into the seam allowances to reduce the tension. The seam allowances along the neckline, push all of them upwards and iron well. Then flip down the collar panel that is not sewn down yet. Fold the edge up slightly so that it is covering the stitches. Iron well. Then turning to the right side, we will be sewing in the ditch exactly where the seam is, making sure to catch the folded edge below. Let's go through that once again. Step 1. Push the seam allowances upwards and iron well. Step 2. Flip the collar panel down. Step 3. Fold the edge up slightly so that it covers the stitching line below. Iron well. Step 4. Sew in the ditch to catch the folded edge below. When you're done, the collar will look like this. The folded edge is tucked in and it's barely visible from the outside. The final touch would be to hand sew the frog buttons along the centre front so that the neck can be opened up. And there you have it, your dress is completed.